Well, hello, hello everyone. I'm gonna close the picture image of myself that I see on the screen so that I won't be distracted with my messages if I have any messages. Because uh, basically, I don't think I have a message to share to you today other than to say hello and present myself to you as the image that I am within and as this world. So, here I am, Alex Parkinson or sometimes uh, called uh, Xela Nosnikrap, which is my name is in reverse, which I like to use since it kind of uh, make, makes me see myself as an aspect of myself which I'm not used to show to people. So when I say my name backwards, I kind of perceive myself as being somebody else and all that I have accepted and all myself to be. Basically what I'm saying is that when I use the backward names of myself, I kind of tend to express things that I don't normally express. So that's basically the bottom line of me using my name in reverse as Xela Nosnikrap. So basically I only want I only wanted to say hello and to say that uh, well I'm in the process as many of you and um, uh, today I've had pretty nice experiences while I was riding myself to freedom next to the uh, St. Lawrence River which is the biggest river in my part of the world which is Montreal Quebec Canada so basically I've just ridden myself and I've kind of noticed something very special about the way I've defined myself as being and that special thing that I've identified within myself was that basically I used I, I define myself as being undefinable and this sounds to be this may sound this may sound to be uh, something which is not definable <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm at loss for what I'm trying to say right now, but what I'm trying to say is that I remember a long time ago, about three to four years ago, I had an experience, a very profound experience, a very profound spiritual experience, as I, as I called it then. And uh, the experience that I had basically made me realize that I was behind the atom, basically. Kind of, I, I went into a, a space within and as my mind consciousness system. And within that space, I perceive myself as being that which was controlling the atom. Basically, I perceive myself as being that which was controlling the smallest particle in the universe in existence. And since I saw that this atom was everywhere around me, not only like in a special space within and as the mind, but I perceived the outside world like the screen of the computer screen, like me, like um, maybe the floor, the sky, everything, as being made of that same atom to which I perceive myself as being behind. And uh, through that perception, I saw myself as being the power source behind the atom. So, since I saw myself behind the atom, and since that realization was very profound within my being, I discarded my identity as Alex Parkinson. I discarded my identity as this physical body, as being who I am. So basically, by discarding this identity as being who I am, I kind of developed a kind of a belief system afterwards, after that experience, because that experience didn't last forever. So basically it lasted for a specific period of time, which was about uh, a week, or if you extend that to the period which brought this experience, well, I could say maybe a month or a month and a half. So basically that specific week where I was kind of out of myself, basically I didn't sleep. I was so full of energy that uh, I couldn't sleep basically and I was always like full of energy and I was very mesmerized by everything that I saw in existence basically because this experience kind of opened my senses to new specific frequencies as I can call them now uh, which made me see specific things that weren't there normally like I saw colors, a specific hue of color which I could maybe relate to the color blue and this specific hue was uh, so new to me that I saw that hue within I mean on the faces of, uh, of everybody and on everything that I looked at was I saw that specific hue and it was something new and I saw that I saw that hue as being something added and uh, I was basically I felt like a child in a new universe because it's kind of a new sense opened up opened itself up to me and not only with my eyes but with my ears with my taste with my uh, smell I mean, all, all of my senses were kind of acute to a more defined uh, level and I saw and felt and heard and whatever of the five senses were just acute and extensively 
more uh, acute I'm saying the same thing redundant but basically I'm trying to say that the experience that I had back then was so new to me that I felt as if I was a child in a new universe and that feeling stayed with me uh, for about a week and I couldn't let it go I, I, I didn't have the option to let it go it kind of was me from the point where I kind of crossed over a specific a layer within and out of my consciousness, I kind of opened myself up to something which was so vast that I, I couldn't grasp it and I, I could only be it and I was it at that particular moment in time. I doubt, I believe right now, or I suspect it to be of the mind conscious system, but when I was within that space, within that um, experience, I perceived stuff and I perceived myself as being in the control, you know, under the control of everything within this earthly existence. And there were many coincidences which kind of built this uh, idea that I was in control of everything. So I won't go into the experiences for now, the specific experiences which made, made me believe that I was in control in charge of everything, but uh, just to say that uh, I was really in a new kind of universe. And since it was new, I perceived myself as being the origin of everything. Again, because I saw myself as being behind the atom, I remember specifically thinking and receiving that thought as, as if that thought was new and out of nowhere, that I am behind the atom. So basically, from that point on, I discovered today while I was uh, next to the uh, St. Lawrence River, riding, a, riding, my, my, riding myself to freedom, uh, I discovered that uh, the identity that I had built within myself following this specific starting point, this specific point of my experiences as myself, was that I was undefined. And basically what that meant to me was that every definition which, which would characterize who I am as a human being, as a person, as Alec Parkinson, I've kind of let it pass by me, pass by my consciousness, by my awareness. I, I never kind of cling to it. I always let it flow, let it pass. I, I never really stuck to it, stick to it. And I kind of removed the sticky kind of attributes of every definitions that a person may have as well that I may have, that I had basically. And that removal of the stickiness of the words basically was what after this experience built confusion within and as myself. Since I was all, I was inclined to the idea that I was undefined, every moment where I saw myself as being defined as being some specific thing, I kind of didn't cling to it in my mind. I had the reflex of letting it go, but I couldn't really, uh, by kind of forget, for forgetting about it, but by suppressing it basically, because somewhere within me I knew that this was something which was still true, but another part of myself which, wa which wanted to stay undefined uh, was that part of myself which I was, which I aligned my identity with more than the part of myself which is defined, which is basically all that I am within and as this world as Alex Parkinson. Basically, so I kind of rejected Alex Parkinson from this point on. I rejected what Alex Par Parkinson means and all that define Alex Parkinson as Alex Parkinson. So basically, and to the extent of rejecting the human body and as the definition of who I am because I saw myself as being an essence something which is so vast that uh, it's not kept within the body so it's kind of everywhere from the body and everywhere so basically uh, sorry right now to me to explain but going back to what I uh, experienced this afternoon I, I kind of noticed that uh, what I built within myself as, as an identity of myself was that the idea that I was undefined and Basically, what I faced when I write myself to freedom is that kind of nagging feeling of never being able to find the point which, which is creating maybe the problems, uh, the, the separation within me, because basically I have defined myself as, the, uh, as being undefined. So I, have so I have invested so much of my energy, of my energy within this definition of myself that I that every time that there was a definition, I kind of let it pass. But still, I let it pass and just stored it somewhere else inside my mind. And that place where I stored it within, within my mind, was a place where I kind of defined as being undefined. So basically, by defining that space as being undefined, kind of, basically it was an abstract space within my mind, but still.